picture this. I'm playing some sap. I get an early level three stork, right? I'm insanely pumped. And then I'm like, all right, what do we do from here? I first went Tats Worm, because that just makes sense. And then I tried another strat, and then I started to realize it doesn't matter. Stork is just too good that you can't possibly lose with an early level three stork. This is what I'm learning. So whether you go Tatsal Worm, whether you go Turkey for the summons, it doesn't matter. Just give it a mushroom or something and you're good to go. Let me know if you had the same experience. Stork OP, definitely try it out this weekly. Let's jump right in. Start me Gecko. I see something cool. One click. <laughs> One click and you can freeze somebody in the shop. That's cool to me. That's pretty cool. I'm still gonna drag freeze for a beginning, I'm sure. But once I get used to it, oh baby. We're gonna be so on. So hacking on. Okay, skip you, freeze, roll. Guess we'll give you a frog here. I'm I'm down to go with the gecko. I think gecko's pretty solid. Oh, we got lucky there. Yes, indeed. And we draw. Okay. Guess it didn't matter. <laughs> Let's get the level. Obviously, we're going another balloon. Could go griffin or baboon here. Baboon's a smart choice. Also, we have in stork, so how could you not? Into another stork. Frog, I simply could not care less. Though the Atlantic Puffin. Low key kind of good. Not quite. So close. Yet so far. Let's go here. Wait, did they change the frog? Oh, they did. If both adjacent friends are tier two or lower, swap stats. Okay. Um, that's not what I was intending to do, but it didn't really do a whole lot. So that's good. Throw the strawberry on you. Hold the ferret for next turn. Might as well be buffing the stork, right? All right, you take those. A draw is not a loss. <laughs> That's what matters. Go here. Yeah, no need to griffin when we got the balloon train cooking. Try to find a stork, I think would be nice. Level you. Go a whale on the stork. But he's kind of big now. Could go a saiga antelope. You know, our, our baboon isn't doing anything. Let's just cook it. I'm kind of thinking we don't full send the Atlantic puffin. I kind of like where we're at here. Getting the stork going. Stork is just so good. Such a strong unit. Okay. I mean, we can go Flying Squirrel, potentially. Right? Get a level 2, maybe? We did not find the level 2. But we'll at least have the backup balloon in case we don't find another ferret. And we're setting up for a freaking huge balloon. Not balloon, a huge toy play. Once we get to tier 6 mongoose. That's a worm's interesting with the stork. Heck, I say we try it. So what are you? You're a 7-9, you're a 5-5. Five, five. We probably just get rid of you, right? Freeze you. 
Do we find the stork? Do we find the stork? No, we do not. So let's put the gingerbread on you. Make sure we get some tattle worm snipage. We haven't really done tattle worm play. Not yet. Fantastic snipe. <laughs> nice job. Great onto the turkey. I mean, they weren't really summoning much more, but it's the thought that counts. Um, I think we're holy. Okay. Freeze you, freeze you. Husky would be great if we hadn't just put this on you. It still might be. We ditched the gecko. We get plus three, plus three. That's pretty good. Only one more time. Yeah, let's do this. At least for now. Just get some interim scaling. Maybe it's not our end all be all kind of thing. Fantastic. Aw, oh, dude. One more health and we would have gotten it. You hate to see that. Okay, start me level. There's the Puma we're eventually going to need. Or we could go Tiger on the Tatsal Worm. Both valid. Let's see. I think Puma probably is the play. Puma <laughs> probably is the play. Freeze the chocolate, of course. Okay. So you're just buffing these homies a little bit. We're really looking to get the the mongoose. That's our goal. Fantastic snipes. Dude, Tatsalorm is so good. I love this guy. Mosasaurus. Could be good. Um, we really need a better toy though before we full send the support for it. You know what, we could get the level 3 on the stork, but I'd rather look for the mongoose here. Did not find it, unfortunately. Oh, Cerberus is pretty good with Tatsalorn, right? Maybe that's just the play. Get some extra snipes in there. Okay, we take a draw. Not bad at all. Ooh, double chocolate too? Don't mind if I do. I think it makes sense to put it on you. Yeah, I'm like rhyming out here. And then, yeah, we're still not finding the mongoose, which is unfortunate. Probably want the tiger behind the tatsal worm. Is our flying squirrel even doing anything? <laughs> not really. It's giving us 1-1 one, one every other turn. That's not very good. But at least it's something. Freeze you. Okay. Like, we don't get rid of it, I guess. This kind of is doing its thing. There we go. Fantastic. Snipes are the way. Maybe. Probably. Snipes are probably the way. Shoe bill is not a shoe bill anymore. We get the level 3 on you. That's amazing. There's the mongoose. Okay. So we go mongoose. Um, I'm not sure exactly what he's going to be doing yet, but... Dude, these snipes are criminal. <laughs> Absolutely criminal. Alright, get rid of you. We probably go peanut jar now, right? I guess you're not level 3 yet, are you? We have enough runway, let's run try a television. 
see if we can find something good here. Okay. We could go number two television. That's not even really the goal though, right? I think peanuts might be the way. I just don't want to overwrite you, right? Okay, we have the runway to do this. Let's television hold the mongoose. And I think this is the play. Okay. It's a little unconventional, maybe. Why is the whale eating a whale? <laughs> Speaking of unconventional. Alright, well their team sucks, so that works for us. We got a little freebie there, we'll take it. Dude, I would love to run a puma here. I just don't think it's gonna be the play. There's the stork we're gonna need. We don't need it yet. There's another stork. <laughs> Okay, this is just incredible. This is so good. We don't even need you anymore. Yeah, so we're basically we're gonna get a 4-4 on everybody here. We're gonna refresh the mongoose on probably peanuts, maybe coconut. I'd do coconut if it was on attack, but it's not. Oh man, this is insane. This is absolutely insane. And it's only getting stronger. Alright, we go here, we go here, and then we go here. Yeah, I think, you know what, it's a pretty high statted unit. Let's do air palm in case they have coconut. I think that's a better hedge the bets kind of play, and I don't think we're going to need another mongoose. But I will take a level 3 Cerberus any day. The Tatzelworm team. See, that, that's what I was thinking, right? So now we're actually going to be able to do some damage to this guy. They do not want to hit this Rhino. <laughs> that was almost really bad. Just completely avoided the giant Rhino in the middle. Can't blame him. But hey, we got the Tatzelworm achievement. Tatzelworm feels really good. Now, I don't know if it feels OP, but it feels really good. Definitely try it. I mean, obviously Tatsworm Stork is the way to go, at least in this weekly. I mean, this is just a fantastic start. And I love that the Gecko actually feels good to run with Balloon now. Because so many times you're running the Balloon, but you're, you just have a bunch of... <laughs> Yikes. You have a bunch of units that just kind of don't... Like, you're not planning to keep them, right? So, what's the point? But in this case, it works out well. Because you don't mind keeping a gecko for a little while. Throw it on you. I want to keep the husky option open. For the future, if you will. Ooh, we won the 50-50. That was lucky. We'll take the draw. Okay. Go here. Here. Dork is good. One more. Honestly, just another stork seems fine. Don't need to re-roll. We get the re-roll when we come back into the shop. Man, dude, this koala, though. Looking kind of gnarly. Ooh, don't mind if I do. Throw here. Maybe go you. Holy moly, okay. That's insane. That is actually insane. Is instant level 3 stork. Wild stuff right there. And we get the dub. Look at this. Huge. When in doubt, just grab a stork, you know? That's always... Oh my lord, dude. Into a tatzel worm? <laughs> what? 
This is insanity. We go here, hold the chipmunk. Grab a ferret next turn. Don't really care about the baboon here, I don't think. He's like fine, but what's he gonna do? Even just the raw stats on the stork summons is just... It's the strongest unit on our team. <laughs> it's the strongest unit out of everybody. Crazy. Into another tassel worm? What the hell? What is going on here? I want to save the chipmunk level for next turn. Maybe we get a husky going. Okay. I don't think we need another ferret. He's going to go pretty soon, I would imagine. Goodbye, Tatsalworm. Goodbye, Stork. Oh yeah, so his ability deals less because of the ink, which is kind of interesting. Alright, what do we got? What did I say? <laughs> what did I say? So, Chipmunk, we don't really care about now. Because we're not looking to put any held foods on anyone. We'll probably just get rid of you. Honestly, like this seems fine. Oh wait, shoot. <laughs> no, it doesn't. That seems unfine. Doberman won't work here. Well, there's just the level. Could go Rhino, could go Raccoon. Maybe get the Rhino with the Husky scaling would be the play. Huge, don't need the tree. Alright, so you're gonna get a plus two, plus two. Not bad. Fantastic snipe. Well done. Just doing an absurd amount of damage. Alright, get rid of you. Throw you in. Who do we want in place of the tar? Maybe nobody, but you probably want someone, right? You would have to imagine. I mean, it's gonna be a tiger. If we get to tier six and we find a tiger, it's gonna be a tiger. Goodbye. Goodbye. <laughs> Is just the absolute nuts right here. Go here. Look for another husky, probably. Anything? Anything at all? Not finding much. Which, like, we don't really need to, I guess. Don't need another tar for sure. overwrote your thing. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why would you do that? Alright, I guess we're... I think this is fine. Well, <laughs> maybe not. Highland Cow would be good with the Husky. Maybe we just send it. Alright, you know what? Full send. You'll weaken them all up, and then we'll go Highland Cow, buff them out. Got some whales going out here. Alright. And then he doesn't get any extra trumpet summons. Okay, we go here. Let's try to get the Highland Cow level up. We could also go Cerberus. So we already did that, so I feel like we need to switch it up a little bit. We're trying the Tatsal Worm combo, but we're getting different guys back here. Different scaling options, you know. Trying out some redundancy plays. Okay, so we go here. That's huge. We don't even have a level 2 Tatsal Worm.
<laughs> and this is what I mean by redundancy, right? Like, the Tadsworm kind of gets cooked a little bit there, but it doesn't matter, you know? Ends up not mattering at all. Because then we got the Rhino. And the Rhino cleans up. Oh, this is not going to end well for you, brother. We could hit the Saiga Antelope, that would be cool. But it didn't really matter. Alright, so now we could go Tiger, but we don't need to. Grab you. We're looking for Highland Cow, we're looking for more Tatsa Worms. I'd honestly keep the Gingerbread Man for next turn too if we lose. Just get Tatsa Worm to level 3. Didn't need it. <laughs> we didn't need it. I don't know, I don't even feel like... Well, Tatsa Worm was very strong. We got the nuts Tatsa Worm play early. Super early level 3 Stork into an early Tatsa Worm level 2. I think that kind of just won it for us. But we are trying a few different, you know, you get the trumpet stacking. You get the, you know, we effectively have three lines of defense, right? It's your primary Tatsa Worm, followed by the cleanup Rhino, followed by the dog. So, I mean, you know, the redundancy helped. There were several battles where we fell onto even the dog as our last resort and came out ahead. The gecko is not bad, especially when you got the ferret to boot. Kind of a weird combo, because whenever there's a gecko with the ferret, the other team can also have ferret with the tennis ball, which counters the gecko. You got kind of that weird, you know, back forth. Which obviously you could also run a tennis ball. See what I mean? You could also run a tennis ball, but that's not greedy. Why would I do that? That would be silly. We go here, we go here. My new throw you in like this. Hopefully, we're just gonna hope that they don't have the, the tennis ball. If they do, obviously we're gonna lose. They did not. Huge. And now we win. It was really a tennis ball or, or no tennis ball was the deciding factor there. All right, let's get a level, see what we get. Tree? Okay, I'll be honest. I know tree is good. I just don't, don't like it. He's not fun to play, you know? It's just not a satisfying pick. It is like early if you get that sweet spot with the six attack. Like, you can't bull him into late game, so any scaling on him feels like a waste. Sometimes you have to intentionally not scale him, which feels weird. Throw in the Stork because Stork is overpowered. Grab another one. Maybe we go Kangaroo Stork. Um, let's see. It's just weird with the Stork. Or, I guess more with the kangaroo. Um, because you're, you're essentially saying, hey, I'm gonna run these two together as like an early game combo, is the idea. But if you think about it... Hold on. The Tatsil Worm is only maybe two turns away with level ups. And that is like leagues better than the kangaroo. So it's kind of a weird vibe, right? Like, at what point do you full send the kangaroo play? When you could also just get Tatsil Worm. But we didn't get Tatsil Worm this time. It looks like we're going to have to actually get creative for once. Get you. Who do we want? You want the tar? I like the tar. Does the whale even do anything for us? Whale synergies is like blobfish, I guess. And then you got like the turkey on summon. You could do a scorpion with mushroom on the whale. That's a little cheesy. Let's just throw in a tar here. I think. 
I don't, I don't imagine we need either of these. Okay, this looks good. So you're gonna have the chili. You're gonna hit them a bunch, I guess. And then, in theory, the hare would grab whatever food they have. But, you know, in practice, there was no food. And there's no toys, otherwise I'd try the flying squirrel option. Maybe we try this. Right, go here, try to get a monkey early. See what I mean though? The tassel worm behind the stork just seems so good. Do this just for the health on you, I think. Maybe we'll get a level up and get a little out of it. Sure. Do you want to put it on you? Let, let's leave it like this. Give you the chili. Throw a monkey in here to buff our stork. Oh, the breakpoint is huge on that one. Unfortunately, the chili helped him out there, but it also helped us out. So we'll take it. Another monkey sounds great here. And then I think we're just looking for levels right now. I think that's all we really need. No, no, that's good. The next turn we're looking for monkey, we're looking for chocolate. We're getting a lot of early scaling on this guy, which is huge. Our Tatsorm isn't quite big enough here. We are going to lose with the ink. I believe we lose either way. I think. But the ink ain't helping. Good blobfish in place of the gecko. Hold on to it for a second. That's huge. Level you into a Cerberus just makes sense. So we need to get Tatsilworm scaled up. Or we could just not also. <laughs> like realistically. Not necessary. Beautiful. We could try to pill into a level 3 Tatsilworm. That'd be kind of funny. What if we just don't do Tatsilworm here and we go turkey? Is that ever the play? We go panther as well. So let's think. So if we go panther, we could get a carrot and get some passive scaling there. We could also pee to leech, but we just don't have room for that. If we go panther, we'd have to get rid of a monkey. Or combine the monkey. More accurately. There's the carrot though. But now we don't have enough gold. <laughs> or we could just husky. Panther or husky. So you're getting 2-2 two, two per turn. You're giving 4-4 four, four per turn. Alright, you know what? We'll go husky. I still want to get the panther, potentially. We could ditch the husky and go panther. Okay. Ooh, highland cow? That would be huge up front. The question is, how do we want to play it, right? Are we going panther? We go panther, I mean 3-3 three, three per turn if we get him to level 2, is pretty good, right? Is it better than just whatever we have right now? I'm not sure. I'd say probably not. Like, throw the highland cow up front, get some monkey scaling going. A little bit of this, a little bit of that. Hold you. 
Oh, I just realized we don't have to have Stork up front. We can give him a mushroom. That would be huge. I don't know, maybe keeping Turkey was the play just because we have Stork. I don't know. I can't decide. Oh, well, goodbye. <laughs> goodbye, everybody. It was nice knowing you. Incoming Rhino. Alright, I think we start... No, we probably go here, right? Try to get the husky going. Because you're getting an extra 2, 3, you're getting an extra 4, 4. So we definitely want you. Into a highland cow is huge. Just give me a monkey and we're good. I don't even really need the Cerberus anymore. <laughs> He's not doing a whole lot. Okay, good hit. Oh, almost. It's okay, we're scaling up quick. Go here, go... We go mushroom on you, you're not scaling anymore, but... Also very good. That's a tough one. Also, do we get rid of Cerberus for a mongoose? I don't think so. Let's wait to mushroom until the, the very end. When we're pretty sure we're not going to be playing a whole lot more. Whether that be losing here or whatever. Beautiful. Okay, so yeah, now we can put the mushroom on. We're just going for the final win here. See what we can get. Twenty-four trumpets this early is very good. I'm genuinely surprised this guy doesn't have a turkey here. That would be so good on this team. But hey, we'll take it. Okay, so maybe the Tatsel Worm isn't really the reason. <laughs> maybe it's just that Stork is overpowered. I'm not sure. Stork just feels incredibly strong. Every single one of these games. This is the highlight unit right here. This guy right here. If you get an early level 3 Stork, it's hard to lose, I feel like, you know? Even the rest of this team, which is kind of underwhelming, lackluster. We have a Cerberus for literally no reason. <laughs> it just works. I don't know. I don't know what to say. Let me know if you've had the same experience with the Stork. He's, he's a deceptive little guy right here.